my name is Justin Earl, and I live in Georgia, and I needed to replace my lawnmower last March, March 2015. I had a Honda mower at the time, $300 from Home Depot, worked perfect for seven years, cranked on the first try, you know, every time. Uh, finally, transmission went out in it after seven years, and I needed to find a replacement. So I wanted to upgrade, you know, I was happy with it, but I figured a better mower, a commercial mower maybe, would be even better. I found out the snapper that I'd always heard such great things about, you know, growing up. All my neighbors had snappers, 20, 30 year old mowers that they still used. So I decided when I heard that they had a Honda engine on a commercial push mower, it just seemed like a perfect, perfect combination. Um, so this is the Series 20 commercial uh, walk behind mower, model 7800849-01. And I got it home and went to crank it up. And it takes about 15, 20 cranks to get it to start. Uh, so obviously, it's a choke issue. In fact, it has, you know, unlike just regular consumer mowers, you know, it has a slow and a fast. And then if you go all the way down, you're in choke. Well, even all the way down, it was not choking correctly. So um, that was one problem. Um, another problem was the. Um, you can see how frayed the pull cord already is. This has been used one season, um, and it's because it goes through this pulley to avoid the bagging system. Uh, and you can see the pulley also is all chewed up. Uh, you know, this is obviously gonna fail maybe two, three seasons, uh, which my Honda mower, seven years, same pull cord. Um, and then the other thing, it's a poor design, as you can see right here, my fingers at it's kind of some shadow this is rubbing against um, and this was replaced under warranty the end of last season so I have mowed my yard three times this season with a brand new chute and it's already rubbed that much in and when they replaced it after one season of use it was almost a full hole in that chute just a terrible terrible design um, especially for a mower that I paid a thousand dollars for the other big design issue, and this is what makes this mower pretty much unusable, grass comes up the tube and it hits right on the top of the bag right here. In fact, you can even see when it's running that there's like a little, little, little mound right here. And it has a liner inside of it. And the liner, a little hard to see because the grass, from the grass hitting it, generates a hole in the liner. And I have, a big pillow full of grass clippings that are not in the bag. They are between the liner and the bag. So there's nothing in this bag. In fact, to prove my point, nothing's coming out of the bag and I still have all those grass clippings in there. So, I mean, the solution, I would assume, and actually you can maybe see it better now, the hole that's in there, the solution, uh, now keep in mind, when I took this in for warranty work to have all this stuff fixed at the end of last season, um, they replaced the bag. So this bag has been used three times to mow the yard. And if you look at the yard, it's just a regular yard. It's not rocky, you know, I'm not sucking up tree limbs and stuff in it. It's just a basic flat yard is what I'm mowing. So, you know, the bag is like $50 or more to replace it. And every three times you mow, you pretty much have to replace it. So it, it's unusable. I mean, there's no, there's no point in me even buying another bag. Uh, I'd be better off putting that $50 a pop into a, another mower. Definitely not a snapper mower. So what I want snapper to do is to buy this mower back from me. It has design flaws. Um, you know, it's funny, it's not probably not even a quality issue. Um, it's just that the design cannot be high quality. It's just a poor design. Anyone else who's thinking of buying a snapper mower, um, I had to go through quite a bit to get them to cover this work under warranty end of last season as it was. The whole time, the dealer kept telling me that uh, they don't know if they're going to cover it. I don't know if they're going to cover it. You may have to pay for part of this. They did finally cover it, or I assume they did. The dealer never contacted me again about payment um, for the work that was done. But this season, I thought maybe the first time it was um, just because it was first time cranking it after five months. Uh, it took about 10-15 times to get it cranked 
and then the next week, same thing, and this past week, yesterday when I mowed the grass, same thing. So the choke issue, I don't have to pull it 20, 25 times now, but obviously the choke's still out of adjustment. Uh, the bag, the bagging system's useless. The tube is gonna wear a hole in itself, you know, probably within two seasons, most likely. It's just for a thousand dollars, this thing is so poorly made compared to the 300 hour Honda mower that I had before. So, snapper, please buy this mower back so that I can move on with my life and be able to mow my grass with all this hassle.